What's up guys, it's King Josh back with another video and today I have an advanced post moves tutorial for you guys. So if you guys have not watched my basic post moves tutorial, make sure to go click on the card in the top right of the screen. But if you feel like you don't need the moves from there or if you've already seen that video, let's get right into the video. The first move I'm going to be going over is the post speed boost. So to do this move, you want to hold L2 and post up. Make sure you're not making contact with your defender. And when you want to do the speed boost, you want to let go of L2 to stop posting up. And right after you do that, you want to hold R2 to sprint and go in whatever direction you want. So you could just let go of L2, hold R2 and run to the right like that. Or you could spin your left analog stick from bottom to top like a backwards C if you want to run into the paint and it'll look something like that. When you're doing this move, you just want to read the defense, go in whatever direction they're not going, and as long as you're not making contact with your defender, you should be fine with this move. Also, if you want to make this move more effective, if you want to confuse your defender, you can move in and out of the post like this, just keep moving in, out, in, out, that'll confuse them a little bit. Also, you can flick up on the right stick to change directions, you could do this, you could post speed boost this way, go back in the post, switch sides, and then you could post speed boost the other way, you could just confuse your defender like that. This move can confuse most players, but it's not super effective against comp players because they do know how to guard it. But other than the super comp players, most people do not know how to guard this move. This next move doesn't have a name, but I like to do this on the fast break or when I'm just driving in from the three point line. So I drive in from the three point line or on the fast break, hold L2 and do a post hop shot. And it confuses the defender because they think you're going into the paint. You can get them jumping because they think you're going to take a layup and you can get an open post hop shot. Next, I'm going to show you guys the post step back. And this move is actually really easy to do, but not that many people know how to do it. So you want to hold L2 to post up, then hold R2 and then hold your right stick down. It should give you an animation like that to get out of the post. You can either pull the mid range or you can get your defender stepping up to guard you and then you can drive right by him into the paint. This next move is called the jab step back. It's really similar to the post step back. You do it the same exact way except instead of moving the R stick down, you're going to move it up. So you're going to hold L2 to post up, hold R2 and then hold the right stick up. You're going to get a little jab animation and then you get the step back. And to do a little jab step into the paint without the step back, you just want to move the right stick down without holding R2. You're going to get an animation that looks like this. Now I'm going to show you guys the fake drive step back. So to do this move, you want to hold L2 to post up, hold R2, and then move the right stick towards your backside. So in this case, I can move the right stick to the right, or I can move it up and to the right diagonally. It should give me the same animation. It does a little bit of a fake into the paint like you're driving, but then it does a step back right after. Next, I'm going to show you guys the aggressive back down. So to normally post up on your defender, you just want to hold L2, walk towards the hoop. It should give you an animation like this. But if you hold R2 while you're posting up, it should give you more body up animations like this, where you can body the defender even more but you want to watch out when you're doing that move because it is easier to body the defender but they can pull the chair much easier on you so just watch out for that when you're doing this move next i'm going to show you guys the post spin step back so to do this move you want to do a post spin and if you don't know how to do that make sure to click the card in the top right watch the basic post move tutorial but anyway to do this move you want to do a post spin move your left stick to the right and then click square you should get an animation that looks like this and it works really well with the James Harden step back because it creates a ton of space. It is a little slow, but it will probably still confuse the defender because not many people do this move at all. Last but not least, I'm going to show you guys how to avoid getting the ball stolen from you when you are in the post position. In this case, my player has two hands on the ball, he can't dribble at all, and if you flick down on the right stick, you actually get this animation where you're not holding the ball low anymore like this, and when your hands are higher up in the air, it's much harder for defenders to get steals. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to drop a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been King Josh, and I'm out. Peace.